OK. Um, so now we're getting to a problem, but we have a little issue. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to want to use a couple other properties of exponents. All right. So we know that the equality rule, which we stated in the last video, was b to the x equals b to the y. Therefore, x equals y, right? when b is greater than 1 and b cannot equal 0. Um, but this doesn't apply right now because 1 over 64 is not equal to 8. right? Now last time, all we did was we took 4 squared and that equaled 16. And that's how we could rewrite it. So now I need to say, well, how can I make these two have the same base? How can I transform 1 over 64? Well, first of all, you could write, we know that 64 equals 8 squared. So if this was a regular 64, I could just rewrite that as 8 squared, right? Then they'd have the same base of 8. But the problem is now, I have this is a fraction. So how am I going to write a fraction that is my whole number? Now remember, there was this rule that we stated 1 over x to the n is equal to x to the negative n, right? That was your exponent rule. So what I could do is if I say 1 over 64, that's equal to 64 to the negative first power, right? Now, that still now it gives you a whole number, but it still doesn't give you a whole number that, or a base that's equal to the base on the other side of the equation. However, I could rewrite this now as 1 over 8 squared, which should now be 8 to the negative second power. Does everybody see what I did or have any questions on that? Why did you have to turn the 8 to that? Because now, if I rewrite this as 8 to the negative second power, raised to the 0.5x minus 3 equals 8 to the 9x minus 2. Now you can see that they both have a base of 8. right? If I just left this as a base of 64 and a base of 8, you can't apply your equality property. Oh, oh, okay. So now that I have them as the same base, I can say that their exponents are equal. So I have negative 2 times 0.5x minus 3 equals 9x minus 2. Remember, we have to apply the power of power rule. a to the m raised to the nth power, meaning that equals a to the m times n. So that's why I'm multiplying my exponents up there. So when I multiply that through, so negative 2 times 0.5 is just going to give me a negative x minus 3 equals 9x minus 2. Minus, minus plus, plus six. 6. Thank you very much. I forgot to apply my distributive property, right? So I always want to make sure you write in the distributive property, showing that, just so you don't make sure you make a little mental mistake. Um, so now let's just add them up. So if I add an x over here, therefore I have 6 equals 10x minus 2. Add 2. 8 equals 10x. Divide by 10. x is going to equal 4 fifths. <coughs> Any questions on that? Does everybody understand kind of the basis of getting those powers to be the same? Um, now, do you guys still want me to go through number four, or do you guys see how to do?